Okay, to that we're going to add a quarter cup of oil. Salt and pepper. And we're going to toss this. And once again, what's going to happen here, the longer this sits, the salt's going to extract the moisture out of the, uh, the ingredients in there. We need to add one more thing, our jalapenos. Okay, we've got some jarred jalapenos here. It's perfectly fine to use fresh if you'd like to use a fresh jalapeno. I think one would suffice for this recipe. But I have five uh, jarred jalapenos. Once again, when it comes to like the jalapeno in this, it's all to your taste. If you like it a lot, really hot, add more. If you don't like any jalapeno, that's perfectly also. Jalapenos are diced. We'll toss that. I don't know if you can tell but already just that salt's uh, starting to extract some moisture out of the ingredients in there. Our next step, we're going to make the sauce, the green onion and cilantro sauce. Uh, we need one cup of green onion sliced. into the food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can do this in a blender, although I've never tried it, but it, it will work. Uh, what you want to do with the blender, put the oil in first, and um, just make sure you, you pulse it, and then stir it, and then uh, let it rip again. Okay, our next uh, ingredient, more cilantro. All right, the cilantro, we need a quarter cup Chopped. You don't really have to chop this too well. I just like to chop because it gives me a better idea when I measure it. Put a cup of cilantro. Back to our rice wine vinegar. I'm put a quarter cup in the mix. We are going to put one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Next we need honey. How much honey? Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of honey. One. And lastly, we need canola. So we're going to put a half a cup. Add a little salt and pepper to that. Put the top on and let it rip. There it goes. We're going to process this until it's, uh, you can't really recognize any cilantro or green onion in there. It's been gone for about three or four minutes. So, take it off. As you can see, it's totally uh, pureed. Got a great bright green color. It smells great. And it tastes great. Okay. All right, we have all our uh, sub recipes made. We have the green onion and cilantro sauce. We have the pico made, and we have the pineapple coleslaw. Now we're going to prepare the fish. This is my. Uh, anytime you grill fish or meat, for that matter, it's very important that when you put the fish on the grill, that it's dry. Uh, that way it'll, it won't stick. If you just plop a wet piece of fish on the grill, it's going to have a much more tendency to stick. Okay, my fish is dry. I'm going to season it with a little salt and pepper. I 
I spray pan release on the grill before I put something on it. Uh, you can use, do this with charcoal too. Okay, now we're going to put the fish on. Uh, I would say to get this fish cooked fully through, you're looking at two to three minutes each side. But once again, if you like a more rare piece of fish, uh, cook it for less time. If you like a more well done piece, cook it longer. Uh, if we were just serving this, well, what's going to happen with this mai, once it's fully cooked, we're going to flake it with a fork for our taco. If we were just serving this as a whole piece of fish, you want to be more particular about getting nice grill marks on and such. But here, I'm not concerned with that. But if you want a nice, if you're cooking my fish steak or whatever some other time, you want to get a nice grill mark on it, like a diamond. You see how the fish is on the grill now. What I would do is pick the fish up. You see how easy that came off? Nothing sticking because it was dry and we seasoned the grill. So I pick that up and just turn it a quarter turn. And that will produce a nice diamond grill mark on it. And we're going to take our flour tortillas. If you have a Mexican store around where you live, uh, they generally make fresh flour tortillas which are awesome. These I just got at the local grocery store and uh, what we're going to do is throw these on the grill to warm them, put a little grill mark on them real fast. It's on the grill. Those are going to stay on for maybe 30 seconds. Add a little color on them, a little grill mark. They're warm. Our fish. You just flake it with the fork. All right, we have our flour tortillas. You want to put the side that was on the grill down, okay? We flaked our fish. that in our taco. On top of that we're going to put some shredded cheddar cheese. Once again, any cheese will work. If you want to use a Mexican cheese, that's fine. Uh, pepper jack works, but uh, I just have to have cheddar. Cheddar is great on this. Then we're going to take our pico de gallo. It's been probably about 20 minutes since we made this. I don't know, you can see how much moisture is coming out of that. Next are green onion cilantro sauce. Put our pineapple coleslaw. And that's it. Uh, put it on the plate. Serve it with whatever side you like. And that's it. This is a uh, great summer recipe. It's light. Uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, my friend George Richardson, who I hadn't talked to, he uh, asked me if uh, I could do some fish recipe. So. That's why we did this today for George Richardson. Uh, hope you enjoy. Until we meet again, eat well. Thanks.